Hello there, hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> this is the Mad Gaiti. You can call me Febo Magwaba if you would like to. Um, let's talk. Yes, let's talk about um applications. Yes, I know most of you, your final years, applications are opening soon, and you are excited. You have the right to be excited. I mean, medicine is very long. Um, six years in. Um, five years if you went to golf seas, uh, ten years if you're doing jam. <laughs> like it is, it is a journey. It's quite a journey, and it's it's exciting to be at the end of the journey and to look forward to the next chapter. I mean, your colleagues have graduated once, twice. They did BSCs, they did honors, they did BAs. Uh, they are on route to become CAs. There's a lot. There's a lot. Like. Your, your friends who you went to high school with completed their engineering courses and so you, you can be you can be proud of yourself the fact that you sticked it out and you are here now um but one thing i can tell you is that the application process for medical interns internship program it will frustrate you just prepare yourself to be frustrated um it's what is it the icsp internship in community service uh, placement portal by the department of health um for us it worked great i mean uh, the system sometimes it glitches a lot uh, so in this video we'll talk about the process so that you can just be better prepared for it for me i feel like um i was better prepared for it because i spoke to some people about it and uh, yeah they talked me to they talk to me through it so in this video we'll try to do that if you have any more questions that you want me to answer you can drop them drop them down in the comment sections and then i'll get back to those questions maybe in a separate video i will just answer them directly on the comment section so let's get into it um first things first what you're going to have to do um is you there's gonna come a time whereby uh the universities are, i think they are in the process of doing that now already uh the universities send um they are finally candidates to GOH, so they will send a spreadsheet with everyone's email address so you make sure that the the email address that the varsity has works uh, for me, I was not very smart. I used my varsity email address, um, which worked up until they say March. <laughs> so now, if they try to find me, they won't be able to find you. So it for them. Um, I wish I could have used a private one, but a lot of us use our school email because that's the email that the university sends you emails. But we send two actually. Yes, actually, we send two emails. So I just send my private one as well. So yeah, so you will get an, a link from DOH with the link, you are just going to create an account initially. You're going to create an account and that's fine. And there's gonna come a time where our applications open. The system will glitch, hey? The first day it glitches because everyone's trying to get into the system. <laughs> and then there was, <laughs> let's say there was somebody who was saying, we should try to log in as fast as this. I'm like, who's gonna listen to you? <laughs> Please, everyone wants to get in. Uh, but for me, what I did is I didn't try to apply when applications opened because it doesn't matter when you apply. It doesn't matter. You can apply the first one to be applied. You can apply the just before they close. It doesn't really matter. That doesn't really influence anything. It's not a come first come first serve basis. Uh, so on the first day, application process get very overwhelmed. The system will glitch. Um, so for me, what I did is I tried to log in in the early, early hours. You know, come at 3 a.m. I know people are sleeping. It's supposed to work. I so saw what I did. I waited for the weekend. I know, God, weekend. That was Saturday morning, 4 a.m. <laughs> people are either sleeping or out. <laughs> no one is sitting there uh, trying to apply. So I applied that. The process was very easy. But the one thing that you need to prepare yourself is the metro rule they have rules uh put in place the the thing you will the portal will guide you so with the metro rule i hate that rule so much it limits you so you get one metro so you'll find that um Gauteng, um the western cape kzn and some hospitals in the Eastern Cape and metros. What that means is that like, you have five options. So you, you have to choose, you have to give them five options. So in these five options that you have, you can only choose one metro. Hate that. Um, which means that 
if for example do you know that you want to work in new somerset hospital in cape town if you immediately when you put that as your number one it blocks everything it blocks all the other metros so for me i wanted to work in new somerset but it was not my first choice my first choice was a hospital in Gauteng in Pretoria, Galafong, which is also a metro. So immediately when I put Galafong in there, I couldn't pick um, most hospitals in the Western Cape, which were metros. I couldn't pick most hospitals in Gauteng, which were metros. I couldn't pick some hospitals in the Eastern Capes, which were metros. So what that meant was that I put Galafong, it was my number one choice, and then um, the second option, because I have to give them three provinces. So the other two hospitals in Gauteng, which are not metros, it is Sibokeng and Leratong. You will see when the applications open, um, Leratong gets a lot of applicants, but it's not because, I don't think it's because people really want to work at Leratong. It's because it's the other hospital that you can apply to in Gauteng. So I feel like sometimes we just fill in the options so that because I can give them five. Because I wanted Galafon and the other hospitals that I wanted, I couldn't apply for because they were metros. I couldn't apply for Kailisha Hospital in the Western Cape, which I also wanted. I couldn't apply for New Somerset because I also wanted it. So I put down Le Radon as number two and I put on Sebo Gang as number three, which was the other hospital in Gauteng that, uh, that was not part of the metro. So with that decision for me, it was a thing of, I wanted to work in Gauteng, and then if I have if I have three hospitals in Gauteng, my thought process was that the chances of me getting Gauteng are gonna be higher. In that sense, and then the other hospital that I put in, um, I put one hospital in the Western Cape. I put George. Um, for me, George. I didn't want to work at George, but my thought process behind it was that if I get George, I can. It will be easy for me to exchange it with somebody because it's a hot spot people there are people who really really want to work at george and then uh pearl and vusta were the other options that you could place which in the western cape which were not metro so you couldn't take mitchell's plane and all of the and tiger bag and hot gear because they were they are metros and for me i was like i do not want to work in pearl i do not want to work in vusta I had the Vosa experience. It was not the greatest for me. So I was like, I cannot do that. So I didn't put those two. And then I had to put another hospital. But now the rule is you have to put three provinces down. And then uh, the other hospital that I placed, I put down, what was it? Frey. Yes, I had, f did I have Frey? I don't think I had Frey there. I had Rob Ferreira in Mpumalanga, yes. Because it was also a hotspot in my um, university. There's a lot of people from studies at Rob Ferreira. So I was like, if I get it, the chance of somebody swapping and taking this side, and that somebody taking Mpumalanga and giving me how thing are going to be higher. So I was like, okay, cool, I can put that. I had another, actually. What was, I had, I forgot what was my first option but it was a hospital in KZN. Yeah no I had three Houting and then I had the Western Cape then I had in Bumalanga so it was five options three provinces yeah so that was fine so that 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 that, that worked for me and then I didn't get any of my choices. That's another thing you need to prepare yourself mentally for that that you might not get any of your options but i don't think they even considered my other four options <laughs> because literally the people that i work with here at george mokari in pretoria Harangua, uh they would tell me that i had applied to california as well and they got here so i feel like uh people who wanted california <laughs> but they couldn't get california <laughs> <laughs> got george uh, so guys if you don't want to work at george please don't put california down you are gonna come here <laughs> everyone who's here you will ask them what did you apply they will say to apply to california i didn't even look at george so george for me it was not even an option i like i didn't even consider working in josh mccarrie like there was really nothing about i, I was not against the hospital it was just not Something I had thought about, I didn't see myself working here at all. But it was a blessing in disguise. Do I regret 
getting it no at home it's such a pleasant hospital to work in uh i mean it's a tertiary hospital so they have just registrars the students so the intern is not really the priority here but working environment wise is very it's, it's like one of the healthiest working environments so that's very important when you choose a hospital ask people about it ask people about how's the hospital how are the seniors I've got friends in some hospitals who will tell you that the seniors disappear. <laughs> Excuse me, why are you going? Why are you disappearing during call? I think in some hospitals at 11 p.m. the seniors leave and then it's the intern there until the morning. It's like, why? Where are you? <laughs> Please say, come back. Uh, so that's very important. It's something that you need to really consider uh, where you're going to do your internship and also what you want for yourself out of internship. For me, I had been studying for so long. I don't like, I didn't want the break. I wanted to be hands on and all of that. But I don't I don't I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all because I was tired, I was fatigued. This year I get to do other things. I get to experience myself outside academics, which is quite important. It was something that I was really, really looking forward to. Seeing myself outside academics, like what type of person I am, what do I enjoy doing and all of those things. So that has been great. Um, so that's something that you also have to consider what you want to get out of internship. And also you have to look at DQs. Do you want to live in DQ? Do you want not want to live in DQ? Um, some hospitals don't have DQs. If you're going to work in Kimberley, they don't have DQ, they don't get housing allowance. So it's something that you need to consider. But if you want to be a surgeon, they say this is, that's the best hospital to go to. I don't know why. I've never wanted to find out. I don't want to be a surgeon, so it was never really a thing for me. But if it's a thing for you, it's something that you can think about. Um, the fact that if you want to specialize soon after graduating, what would you want to do your internship? Years ago, a, a tertiary hospital that offers so to that program so that you can build connections as well, so that the seniors, they can know you. Guys, it's so great being known by an HOD of a department because one day I get home and I see the guy, clucks. Go pediatrics and then would you like okay we remember him Shem. as an intern he worked really hard so you see then at least you build a connection in yana so that's quite important as well if you something that you have to think about actively who are the allowance this is not none who are the allowance some hospitals they will offer you the rural allowance it's nice it's an extra 5k to your salary I mean that's great um if that's something important for you because you you, you have to consider the fact that we have real challenges as people some people have loans that you have to pay there's black taxes everything so you have to like that 5k will really help but also you need to understand that the well pay comes with also its own challenges like yeah because if you work in a rural hospital you refer a lot so Luna, there you don't really get to you you you, you see things. You are primary health care. You the first people to see things, but you will most probably refer to tertiary centers. So in that way, that's also like a disadvantage. But you get to do so 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 much more with limited resources. But for me, the most important thing for me during coming to internship was the fact that. I wanted to learn to do the right things before learning to do the shortcuts. What I'm trying to say with this is that with uh, the rural places, they don't have a lot of resources, right? So they've learned to survive and they've learned to make do with what they have. So they learn the tricks. So I didn't want to learn the tricks before learning the right things. So learn the right things first and then learn the tricks. That's what, that's what, that was what was important to me as an individual coming into this so going back to applications um there are like some people really really want specific hospitals so uh, there's something that we call social compacting you don't need a reason to social compact so what that entails is that you apply with someone you apply with a friend and then you and a friend can be placed together at that hospital that's what you basically say with social compaction um so the only downside about that is that you need to get somebody whose uh hospital choices and yours will match 100 percent so it means that with those five options that you get you guys have to choose similar hospitals 
completely. Okay, and let me just do it. <laughs> so yeah, so your social compact um, friend just has to select same hospitals as you to the team, and then you guys will be placed together. <laughs> the last day they did something very weird. <laughs> in that, in some hospitals, the people who decided to social compact one friend got to the hospital, the other one did it. <laughs> that was the ghetto. Oh, that was the ghetto. But social compacting works. It works. Uh, most often they will place you both there. But it happens that one of you will be placed. Plus, so please, if your friend gets placed and you don't get placed, please come quite there. <laughs> come quite there, please. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Like... It's life. Life happens. I mean, you never know. For me, one of the reasons why I didn't try to switch uh, hospitals after I got George McCary for me, before applying, I said to God, uh, because I'm a very spiritual person, Jen, I said to God, wherever you send me, I will go. So and then, when the results came out, was I, was I disappointed? Of course I was disappointed. I was like, what the hell is this ghetto? <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't choose you. What do you mean? So I sat in my sadness for, how long was that? <laughs> 10 minutes <laughs> and i snapped out of it i was like we we are moving i was like we're going to pick because i was like i wanted to try the game which is why i wanted to the game so i was like okay cool i mean it is what it is let's 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 move i was like okay cool let's let's let's, let's just move yeah i guess we move so that's the thing you you might not get the option that you want um there's other uh categories there's people whereby i guess some people are married some people have kids, some people have doctors, um, some people are settled, they have houses. So those things are special considerations. So apply with that. You have to provide proof. Please don't lie. Please don't lie there. <laughs> Please don't lie and say, oh, no, 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 when you don't have a house. <laughs> Please don't get married to someone just because you want to <laughs> be considered for a specific hospital. No. Guys. I don't think God would want to. I don't think God in, intended marriage to be used like that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I'm just joking. If that is something that you'll have to do to get the post, just, just go away. Just don't lie. Don't lie because they want proof. Special consideration, they want proof. You'll have to provide affidavities. You'll have to provide uh, proof of ownership. You'll have to provide medical um, certificates. No, no, no. Marriage certificates. Yes. So they don't consider engagements anymore. So please don't just, don't just get engaged. Get engaged and get married as well. So that's something that you also have to consider. So yeah. Uh, but all in all, yeah, that's the process in as well. It's very quickly. It's very quick. It's very fast. You apply. Um, give them your five options. The, the system will, will will guide you, will guide you completely. It will also show you the number of spaces that they are there. And it will also give you um, the number of people who have applied. But it won't say that this is the people who have chosen this hospital as their first choice. It will just give you the number of people who have chosen those hospital. And then the computer will just randomly place people. So yeah, I, I wish you everything of the best. Um, it's it's a great experience. I mean, guys, internship is internship everywhere. Like you're gonna be an ice boy, or ice boy everywhere. You are the guy who do things and go book a skate, go do this blast, go do this every line, go book this. You know, very you must have you must throw yourself out there. Ro ro where's that booty racers? Come on, <laughs> please, guys. Internship is with the kid. Internship is for enjoyment. Let's be honest. Internship is for enjoy. It's for enjoy. You don't have a lot of, you don't have a lot of responsibilities. I hate the fact I've got wires in my teeth. Now I can't even speak properly. Uh, internship is for enjoyment. You have to enjoy it. You you. It's it's a break, man. It's just before you are in MO. Just after medicine, they won't bother you in the hospital with questions. They leave you alone. They leave the intern alone. They, you are just there, man. With the king, who creates that pain? <laughs> Doing everything that no one wants to do. So internship is really not that deep. Um, it's for it's for it's for enjoying life. It's for enjoying your money, being wasteful, going on trips. Because I want that internship. Because I want next year after. Enjoy a chill with the fail with the king. Obe fail. You should. Obe Obe invincible. You are there, but you're not there. Like. 
Tes chers hospitaux sont trop vite. Tes consultants de cas ouvrent un autre Reste, tla tla tla. Are student t t t. Quand il intern, au bout qu'il est eight year. He's like, okay, oh intern. Please don't forget to book this thing for us. For the house man, what one? I like, okay, I'll be contributing anything academic. No, am I saying anything? No. Okay, so. Yeah, so with that said, internship is so enjoyment, enjoy it. I mean, finally it's rough. It's really rough. And it's not rough because it's difficult. It's rough because you are tired. And then everyone is pressurized and you have to finish. There's a lot of things about it. So enjoy it. Um, Just get through finally. I was going to give up. Just push through. You've, you've made it up until this point. I think the most important thing that you have to remind yourself is that you made it up until here. The imposter will be the. I read a meme the other time you said, just because you have imposter syndrome doesn't mean you are inadequate. I was like, ouch. But the imposter will be there. But Shem, just remind yourself that you've gotten this far. And you've gotten this far for a reason. And you deserve, man. You deserve your place. You just have to get through the next couple of months and then you'll be done. The rest of your life is waiting for you. And yeah, let's not make this very long. I feel like I've been out of YouTube for so long. So now I'm back and I want to just continue talking. Hmm, but anyway, anything about the best to my students by SMU who always say to me, oh, we found your YouTube channel. If you've made it to this point, comment down below and say SMU so that I do know that you didn't just find my channel, but you are watching it. But let's just stop this video right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share this with your fellow friends. How I can, let's just get this channel to 5,000 subscribers. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll post often. Yeah, but I but I like my 2.9 people. I mean the OGs. I like the people who've been in with me since the beginning of time. Guys, I put wires in my mouth. So please forgive how I speak. I mean 